Hello again. Today I'll be doing a review on the 2021 Toyota Camry XSE, which stands for Extreme Sport Edition. This model is an 8-speed automatic 4-cylinder with a 2.5-liter engine, 206 horsepower, and 186 pound-feet of torque. Today I'll be reviewing this 2021 Toyota Camry XSE. Um, this is a, this is a nice nice vehicle, uh, real nice looking. Um, before I get started, I'll show you the key fob here. Uh, nothing special, uh, just lock unlock. It doesn't have a, this particular model doesn't have a, an automatic uh, or or start from uh, from the key fob here. Uh, it doesn't have that. Um, but it does have, you know, I mean, you want to find your car and whatnot, and you can also hold this button uh, to push to open the trunk, which we'll do a little bit later. But uh, I haven't driven a Toyota Camry uh, in decades, uh, and I am pleasantly surprised. And this model is a refresh version of the 2020, and I won't go into the, the, the differences. This is my first time driving this, I, like I said, in decades. So. Uh, I'm just going to give you my impressions of, of uh, what I think about this this model. Uh, but if we uh, if we start in front here, we've got the uh, LED running lights that are here. It looks like there's a uh, looks like three of them here, and it looks like a, a LED headlight as well. Um, and you've, I like how they've got now this color. Let me just back up here. This color. Uh, like it was white but it looks like a pearl white well it looks really sharp looks really sharp to me uh, I do uh, going back to the headlight here uh, I do like the, this, this fiber, whatever that is, uh, to accent I do like that and it's got the, the honeycomb uh, material here as well um, it's, it's no this is weird I don't know that looks weird but anyway I like the car the front of the car in general but uh, uh, I wonder why come they couldn't put a, uh, a fog light here in some way. Uh, it continues down with the honeycomb down the, to that area there. And of course, it's got uh, the sporty, uh, uh, spoiler here uh, on the bottom here. And I do like how it's got this chrome uh, as well. That looks real sharp to me. Coming around uh, on the side here, these are 19-inch wheels. Uh, I do like how they look as well. Uh, this this block looks uh, just really sharp, really sharp. And you know, it's interesting um, for as thin as that tire is, the height is on that tire. Um, the car is pretty good over bumps and railroad tracks, uh, which uh, to my surprise. Uh, so I, I was very pleased um, by that. Uh, and coming to the uh, the outside mirror here, you've got some. Well, as your blinker uh, down in there, and you have um, if someone if you're going to kind of get into someone's lane or they're going to get in your lane, it has an alert uh, a safety feature, which is very nice that it has that. Now, this car, uh, somebody kind of has a little fender bender there before I got it. Now these vents here don't do anything, that's just a fake vent. Um, so that's interesting. Now, coming to the rear of the vehicle. Now I'm going to do a little voiceover because the wind is so strong today. It's like uh, 30 miles per hour. Uh, but this model does have quad tip exhaust and they look really sharp, so I really like that.
coming to the door here, uh, as long as you have your key fob on you, um, you just put your hand here and you can unlock the door. Uh, also, there's some lines here if you wanted to, to lock it that way, you could do that. And speaking of the door, I will say regarding this material, I'm a little colorblind, but from what I can see, I believe this is red and not orange. Um, but uh, this, you can see on the seats here, uh, very sharp. I do like that. They're, they are leather seats. So they're insulated here in the middle, and as well as coming face. back to the seat, uh, I just want to say um, uh, the seat uh, is fine. It's not extremely comfortable for me. Uh, I love the way it looks. Uh, it's not hard, but it's not extremely soft. So, but it's probably good. So, so that over time, if it loosens up, it will, it will be, uh, you know, would be okay. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just okay for me. But I, I just, I, but I do like the way it looks. I like that headrest as well, how it curves. Of course, you can raise that if you're taller. Uh, one thing I meant to mention uh, on here, I'm uh, 5 feet 10, I'm going to get back in the car, I'm 5 feet 10, and I uh, I fit uh, just fine in here, of course if you're taller than 6 uh, feet, um, you know, there are con one of the controls, you can lower the seat so that you're lower, and I'm going to try something here, yeah, you can lower the seat, and when you do that, let me see if I can switch uh, the camera around, yeah, so if you lower the seat, there is a lot of headspace. Uh, and of course, I didn't have it this low because I, I need to see over the dash a little bit um, and over the hood of the car. So for me, I think about right here. Yeah, and there's that much room. So there's that. And coming to the door, uh, this is soft touch material. You'll, uh, sorry, material here, uh, and then you know you have some hard plastic here. This is uh, soft as well, but although it's padded, and I believe this is probably some faux leather and not really real leather on the door here. Um, you know, it, it it could be padded just a little bit better than what it is. Uh, you know, if you're going to rest your elbows there for a, a certain amount of time. Uh, for a long travel, uh, it just would be nice if it was a little bit more padded. And the same for the, the center console there, which I'll show you in a second here. But uh, it does have this uh, stitching uh, here that looks really sharp. I do like that. Now, regarding uh, the seat here, uh, this is a an eight-way power seat, um, and including a lumbar support, which is awesome. And it's great because um, these controls controls the back. There's not a separate level lever to move the back of the seat. Uh, so I'm glad about that uh, switch. Now I'm going to go on the, uh, the passenger side. They've got some controls as well. So let's see what controls are on this side. Now this is not an eight-way power seat over here, but uh, it does control the back of the seat and it controls going forward and whatnot. So let's let's try this. And since out. I'm over here, I'm going to get another angle of this um, this material here on the passenger side because I really like how this looks. But it goes all the way over there, and it comes all the way around. And it actually, it comes down here where your knee would uh, would, would touch. Uh, so so that's cool. Uh, and again, the, now although this is padded, uh, the further down it gets, the, the less soft that it is. But that's okay. Uh, it's there, so uh, nice, nice that it has it. Nice that it has it. And of course, down here further is hard plastic. Now on the driver's side, I didn't mention this. This is uh, this is all hard plastic down here. But uh, but yeah, uh, I like this uh, this this carbon fiber look, whatever that is. Uh, looks real sharp. Please let me get in the car here. I'm gonna turn on the air. Well, actually, you know, before I do that, on the door, uh, you know, there's just room for a little bottle of water um, sitting at an angle, and just a little, uh, I don't know, what you would put there in that area. Uh, but all the windows are automatic down and automatic up, which is nice. Um, 
and of course your 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 controls for your outside mirrors and whatnot and over here uh, you know you control your lights and your traction control uh, this button is for the trunk you just hold that and it pops it and this button here you hold that and it pops the gas cap and it opens that up for you now let's see if I can get around here let me open the door let's see if I can do it there we go okay there's a couple of buttons here one is just to reset your your odometer reading your trip um, and I think this one is for the how bright that the dash is I believe that's what that's that's for now coming over here there is a little little bitty um, I don't know what you would call this but uh, if you want to put some coins or something small so there's a little little, little cubby that, uh, for that where you can put that in okay regarding the steering wheel uh, it's fine I, I wish it was a little bit bigger uh, that would be nice for, for my taste uh, but you know on the steering wheel you have options that you need to control uh, the radio and then the little screen uh, up there uh, and you can just use these arrows uh, for what you want is all you do okay I've tinkered around a little bit with these items on the middle screen here um, and the Toyota, uh, the Camry here, has uh, some great safety features. Um, now, with a combination of using uh, this button here uh, with the first one highlighted, I mean, you go up on the button and it tells you um, pre-collision pre system. Uh, and it goes on uh, BS blind spot monitoring and then the rear cross traffic alert. Uh, now, blind spot monitoring is on, uh, you get a little light on this mirror here on that corner and then there's one on the other side you won't be able to see it from here because the windows up and it's dirty hit the uh, hit let me try it again John get it together all right so hit the middle button okay and you can shut it off that's the middle button here and then hit the middle button again and it turns it on and same for this one uh, and, and this one is that that rear cross traffic uh, alert system um, so uh, that that's nice uh, but on this little screen uh, you can uh, you know have the radio displayed on that little screen there if you choose to do that uh, and you and you can change the stations let's see or that you know the generic screen here I had it on earlier uh, your trip uh, it gives you all the information regarding how many miles per gallon you're getting uh, let's see here um, the temperature outside how many miles on the car all, all these these general things like that uh, I am averaging 26 done and you hit that and return to the main menu on that uh, of course you can make a phone call uh, you got you got it oops sorry you can make a phone call using this button here um, you know, or this, you know, this button here, the voice command, uh, control your volumes over here, uh, on, on this side here. Now this button here on the steering wheel, I have been trying to figure out what that's for. Um, and I looked in the manual and I pushed the button and, uh, with no luck. Um, so I'm not, I'm not sure what that does. I, I'm, a, I'm assuming, uh, I don't know. It almost looks like it's something to do with the bumper and something getting close to the car. Um, but it just wish I would just wish um, a message would come up on the screen here so that I could see for sure uh, what that's for. So I'm not sure on that. Uh, and this button here, if you push that, it says uh, steering assist active, lane centering active. So if you were to veer off, if you're I was on the highway earlier and I was kind of going to the left a little bit or to the right a little bit and uh you know a beat and say hey you know you're 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 getting out of your lane so that's nice uh, nice safety features uh that it has so i do appreciate that on the dash uh this is soft material now this feels feels real nice this is a, a real soft uh, soft plastic all the way around and i do like uh how it comes around i do like the material here um not sure what what, what that is but it looks real nice um, and as well as I believe this is some more of the faux uh, leather uh, and it matches the seats perfectly and the stitching uh, that, is, that it has uh, looks really sharp 
uh, it makes the car look upscale. And I like this black piano uh, color here. Um, it comes around the center console. I think that looks sharp uh, as well. Uh, this is a nine inch uh, screen, infotainment screen. Um, and let's see. Uh, actually, nothing special. Let's go to let's go to menu. Uh, so you've got you know your audio, you know which is your music, uh, AM, FM, uh, Sirius uh, music. You got your Bluetooth, and I hook my phone up to that. Uh, let's go back home. Actually, let's go to menu. Okay, and uh, it has uh, the apps. There's not much there. Um, not much there. <laughs> if you want to read into some information regarding Wi-Fi notifications and authorizations, you can do that, of course. Let's see. I figured that arrow would take me back. It's not. Okay. And, of course, if this car does have um, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. I have an Android phone, uh, so that's what I would use. And you would just hook your phone up uh, to the cord so that you could project uh, your your um, the map that's on your phone, the navigation rather, the GPS, it will display on the screen here. So you, you push that and uh, once you have it connected. Of course, I don't have my cord connected, so uh, it won't show on that. Uh, and then some, just uh, some other information you can get into regarding uh, the setup and whatnot. So we'll go back home. The radio in the car, I'm not impressed. Um, with the sound system. Everything looks beautiful in this car, um, but the sound system, uh, I am not a fan of uh, at all. Um, I'll just play a few seconds of something, but. Uh, memories bring back, memories bring back your... Yeah, I, it's just, uh, I even went into, um, I went into the system and I, changed uh, how everything should sound. I can't even think of the word for that. Um, yeah, not a fan of the radio at all. All right, sticking um, with the console here. Well, of course, you've got the power button and the volume button. Um, you know, you've got maps if you have uh, GPS in the car. This, ver this car doesn't have that. It just has the Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Um, but if you have GPS, you push that map button. Um, and then uh, you change the station, seek your station, and uh, basically what you have on your steering wheel, you have uh, listed here on the side. Uh, coming down here, um, I do like that it has uh, the dual climate control. Uh, driver can control his or her climate, and uh, the passenger can control theirs as well. Uh, so uh, very, very nice feature. Um, and of course, you know, you can you have that defroster for the, the windshield here, defroster for the rear. Um, and it's interesting because the rear uh, uh, window back there, it has, uh, you know, normally you have a few lines to thaw out the snow. If you live in the Midwest and you need that, which I do, uh, it has several lines. Uh, so, um, so I'm impressed by that. Um, and of course, uh, just controls control your, your fan and your air conditioning or your heat. Uh, which is which is along there uh, now uh, just to make a comment regarding the console I do like this silver piece um, this this uh, I do like that I like how that comes around and I like how it just swerves and that swerves that way uh, a lot of cars that are the mid-sized cars or full-size cars um, they're very plain and, and normally the dash is just goes straight across and it's just really nothing not much to it I really like how how this is designed I, I really do now if we go under here we have a USB port Let's see if I can get focus in USB port there and we have a 12 volt over there now down here uh, this is a, uh, a charger for your your phone I did try that. Um, what you do is you, it's pretty bright, uh, the sun is coming in, so hopefully this comes across. But um, there it is. You push this button and you make that come on and you just set your phone in the middle there. I did that, um, I don't know, my phone didn't charge, so I don't know 
uh, I've read the manual, so there must be more to it. I have an Android, so I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's there's just more to it. Um, but uh, uh, I know what the the manual did say your phone had to be compatible. So maybe it's just that my phone is just not compatible. I don't have a <laughs> the most high end phone ever. So that probably is what it is. Is that now speaking of this area area here, uh, there is a little secret compartment way. Um, and you just you just push that and it opens up and you can uh, you can hide things in there so that is pretty cool and then to close it you just push it and it shuts very nice yeah I think that is very sharp okay coming down here to the stick shift uh, uh, I like it. It's uh, it's uh, very nice. It seems uh, <laughs> really short, but but it's very very nice. You know it's what, what it needs to be. Uh, but you can. Uh, this is an eight-speed uh, automatic uh, four-cylinder car. But you uh, you can come down uh, and drive in manual mode or sport mode. Uh, I'll, I'll say manual mode. And you come and push it to the side, and then uh, you go you go back or you go forward, and then. If let me zoom in a little bit, if you look on your dash there, you can see it change gears, and it will go all the way up to eight. Yeah, so that's uh, that's nice. All right, let's look at the backup camera. Uh, so when we put it in reverse, we can see the backup camera through the nine-inch screen uh, with the trajectory lines. Uh, which are awesome for any car um, when you're backing up trying to park so that's that's great talking about the uh, center area here um, it's it's nice it's got um, you can drive in economy mode you can drive in normal mode or you can drive in sport mode uh, and of course economy you can save a lot of gas uh, in the car that way uh, and of course it's got the uh, park button here just pull up and then you'll know you're in park um, or the car is in park if you look there on the tachometer you see the word park that's lit up and then if you uh, push the button down you take it out of park over here you've got uh, the car has heated seats uh, which is awesome uh, and you've got um, three levels that you can set it on. Um, coming back over here to the cup holders, um, I mentioned this in another review that I had. I do like how they have uh, these, um, or not buttons, but these grips. Uh, so if you have a smaller uh, water or container uh, bottle or whatnot, it will keep it from moving around. And that's that sharp. I like that it has that. Now, on the center armrest here, this is um, it's padded, um, but n it could be better uh, because uh, you know I, I was driving on the highway for a while and I had my uh, elbow on here, and it, after a while you, I could feel the um, the hardness uh, that's underneath the material here. So they could have done better. With, with that I believe this is uh, faux leather as well uh, as uh, the area up here on the dash now over here there's a button here you push that well oh okay <laughs> over here push that and lift up and it's pretty uh, it's pretty deep you can fit quite a few things in there and over here you have a um, USB port as well as a port for, uh, uh, well, I'll say Android because that's that's what it uses. So US, USB here, and this is a, exactly the charger uh, that fits my Android here with my cord. So that's great. That's really great. I love this. Over here, um, the glove compartment is uh, damped. Uh, it's um, it's small. Uh, you know. Reaching in it from the driver's side is inconvenient, so, <laughs> um, I don't know, it's, you know, it's kind of weird. It kind of, um, it goes, I don't know, 
I'm sure it has to do with the design of the car because of this uh, material here. I'm sure that is. But, you know, it fits all the books for the car, but you can't fit anything else in there. So, um, so it's kind of small, in my opinion. And hard to reach if you're, if you're trying to reach something from the driver's seat. Coming uh, up here by the mirrors, this does have uh, vanity mirrors on both sides. Uh, well, well <laughs> it's weird. The light is actually at the ceiling. I've never seen one designed that way. Uh, so you've got your mirror here and you've got your, your light there. And the same for the passenger side. Light up there and, and mirror over there. So that's interesting. Now coming up here uh, by the rear view mirror, um, this is uh, automatic dimming and um, you have, I believe there's these buttons on the, on the front here or for the garage door openers. I believe that's what, what that is. Um, and coming up here, you have a map light for the driver side as well as the passenger side. And Speaking up, up in this area here, there is a button here. If you get into trouble and you need help, you have an emergency, there is an SOS button that Toyota offers. Um, and you pull that down, and then there's a SOS button with a phone on there. And you uh, you just push that. Um, and it says, uh, it's, a, it's a Toyota Safety Connect Emergency um, SOS button, is what it is. And it goes to an operator. There is a... a um, subscription that you would subscribe to for emergencies uh, just like you know General Motors has OnStar you know Toyota has their um, you know their company that monitors that kind of thing okay now this button over here this will slide the um, the cover back this on the uh, sunroof so let's go ahead and push that button so you can see well, if I can get Oh, I guess you got to hold it. I think you had to hold it. And it slides back. All the way back to the passengers. And then, this button here will open the sunroof. So let's do that. Now that's weird. I could have swore I didn't hold that button a minute ago. Okay, there it goes. I'm not happy. I don't have to hold it. I guess you have to hold it for so long. And then, uh, and that's what it looks like. I thought it went back further. Let's try that. Let's try it. Okay, no, that's as far back uh, as it goes. Now, just for the sake of seeing what it looks like from the outside, let's get on the outside so we can see what that looks like. All right, so that's what it looks like from the outside. I'm five feet ten, so I'm gonna see if I'm sitting behind a person my size and height, uh, if if I would fit. All right. So I fit just fine um, back here. Uh, yeah, it's it's not that there's a, a ton of room between my knee and the front seat. I think that's about what is that four inches maybe. Um, but uh, I would be uh, just fine uh, uh, on on a road trip. Uh, back here just just fine not a problem at all uh, and going back to this headrest it's uh, you can see back here how the headrest goes at an angle so that's kind of cool how it does that uh, now before I forget <clears throat> coming to the door here I'm gonna open it a little bit so you can see um, same same material as the front uh, as far as uh, uh, the soft plastic here uh, and here uh, as, as well and then, of course, that's hard plastic. And same thing, you can fit a bottle of water in a little cubby there. And let's see something here. Okay. So it has, okay, so as a passenger, it has automatic down and automatic up. 
Uh, the window stand is kind of rough going down, so I think I'll leave that alone. Uh, <laughs> it's not my car, so. Um, now, uh, talking about back here, um, it's definitely enough room for two people. Uh, three people, I think, would be tight. I mean, you, if, you can make it work if you had to get them somewhere, but I think it's really designed for two people uh, from how I see it. Um, and I'm not a fat person, um, so there's that. Now, on the back seat here, you have a pocket behind the driver, and you have a pocket behind the passenger uh, as well. Uh, the, it does have uh, vents uh, for the passengers back here, so I think that's awesome. Uh, and you can shut the vent off, looks like, um, or open them up. But, uh, yeah, oh, and the other reason why a middle person wouldn't be ideal, there's a hump uh, on the floor, as you can see there. Yeah. Oh, and um, before I forget, I do like how there's a piece of chrome material that's going across here. I like that. And it goes right into the door handle. So uh, that looks real nice. Now, on the, uh, the back here, let me see if I can turn the camera around. Um, it curves down a little bit. Um, I believe, from how I can see, let me see here, in the middle, there's controls for uh, for the lights. If a person sat in the middle, uh, this comes down just a little lower, so that would would kind of interfere with with their head. If you know, if they're um, even my height, if I were to sit in the middle, let's try it. Let's see. Yeah. <clears throat> see my my bull head, you know, barely touches that uh, ceiling there, so it's not ideal. Um, for three people back here you know if you needed to you could do it it's not a big deal now let's see I believe there is, is a console back here let's see you would think there would be a something to pull I guess not anyway um, you have a yeah you got an armrest uh, back here with uh, two two cup holders for the and now that's really, oops, sorry, that's really soft for the passengers. That's really soft there, so that's good. I don't know why they didn't make the same thing for the driver up front, so that's uh, that's interesting. All right, uh, coming to the trunk here, there is a little wing uh, on the deck lid there. Uh, I like how they, they put that on there. Um, this trunk is 15.1 uh, cubic feet. Very roomy, and of course it's got a, the seats are 60-40 split, so if you need to let, let the seat down to haul something and extend it through the seat, you can do that. Um, it's wide on this Toyota, um, and uh, just, just very roomy, just very roomy. Now, this uh, does have, okay, there it is. Uh, it's got a jack jack kit, but it also has a spare tire, which you don't get a lot in these cars these days. So that's uh, that's nice. Now, when you want to let the seat down uh, for hauling things, um, these buttons here, uh, it's got plastic on it, but you would just pull that and it should let that seat down. And there's one on each side. Yep. And if you get uh, kidnapped and um, stuffed in the trunk, it doesn't have an emergency pull switch. Uh, you can just pull that and jump on out of the trunk. Okay, if you wanted to let the trunk open without having to use a key fob or pushing the button from the inside of the car, there is a, a button. <laughs> I was looking for it for a while. It's over on this side here. So you just push up and it opens it up. Now the um, Camry uh, drives uh, really well. I'm very impressed. And here's some train tracks up here that I was referring to earlier. Uh, it does really good uh, over the bumps. I was very impressed by that. Uh, very, very impressed. And it does pretty uh, decent when taking corners. It's not a sports car by any means. But uh, 
but it takes them pretty good. This 2021 Toyota Camry XSE is a front-wheel drive, 8-speed automatic, 2.5-liter, 4-cylinder, mid-size sedan. It has 206 horsepower with 186 pound-feet of torque. This 4-cylinder runs on a DOHC 16-valve D4S dual injection with dual VVTi and has Eco, Normal, and Sport drive modes. This model can go from 0 to 60 in about 7.7 .7 seconds. FuelEconomy.gov lists the miles per gallon as 27 in the city and 38 on the highway, with 31 miles per gallon combined. The Camry XSE rides very well. This model was designed to have a more sport-tuned suspension. The ride is not harsh or jarring over imperfect roads, nor is it floaty. What also helps the ride is the independent suspension. I was impressed at how well it rolled over the imperfections in the road, especially railroad tracks. I would say the handling was decent thanks to the wide 19-inch tires and the Camry took corners well. However, it was not like driving a sports car. It's great that you have the option of driving in economy mode to save gas, normal or sport mode. Consumer Reports rates the Camry 88 out of 100 and is rated number one out of 11 mid-sized cars. The predicted reliability is five out of five. JD Power & Associates gives the Camry an overall score of 82 out of 100. Quality and reliability is 82 out of 100 and driving experience 77 out of 100. Edmonds gives the Camry an overall score of 7.7 .7 out of 10. Car Indigo rates the Camry with an overall score of 7.4 out of 10. US News gives the Camry an overall score of 8.4 out of 10, with the reliability portion being 3.5 out of 5. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration reports that there are no recalls for the 2021 Camry. For the 2020 Camry, there are two recalls for the non-hybrid front-wheel drive version and one recall for the hybrid version. Non-hybrid version. Number one. Fuel pump may fail as of November of 2020. Number two. Engine may leak coolant as of February of 2020. Hybrid version. Number one, engine may leak coolant as of February of 2020. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration gives the Camry an overall safety rating of five out of five. Frontal score of five out of five, front driver side, five out of five, and front passenger side, five out of five. Well, that concludes my review of the 2021 Toyota Camry XSE 2.5 liter 4 cylinder 8 speed automatic mid size sedan. Know that on vehicle recalls, you take the vehicle to the dealership to be repaired for free. Remember to do your research prior to the purchase of any vehicle. Which auto will you choose on your next purchase? Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to help support my channel. You all take care.